somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn guys tonight we are diving into the fifth installment of the scream franchise this is 2022's scream now we've absolutely loved every one of these or at least i have i don't mm-hmm. want to speak for these guys but yeah. they've been so much fun and i can't wait to do a first time watch with all of you on this one i have seen this one but only once and so i'm definitely ready willing and able to see how you guys react to it and i can't wait to watch along with you guys as well uh, you know uh, for getting four episodes not four episodes but four installments deep in this series and to have all four be very very highly entertaining i was really really impressed generally once you get to the yeah. third one and then the fourth one things start to taper off and it didn't with these so i am really excited to get into this fifth one there was how big of a gap 10 years or so oh uh, yeah this mean, though it was 2020 or 2011 and now this one's 2022 okay so an 11 year gap so uh I, i'm wondering you know what direction this is gonna take but i'm super excited loved the first four all right without further ado let's go Oh. Here we go. Phone's ringing. Oh, I'm so pumped. I still got a landline. Hey. Wes. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Oh. Is Christina there? Tell her I'm from group. I'm Charlie. She's got my number. And I will do exactly that, Charlie. Once you tell me what kind of group we're talking about. Well, you sound exactly like she describes you. She loves you very much. Oh, what does she love about me? Sounds kind of like the voice, right? She says, you love scary movies. What's your favorite scary movie? Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> Have you ever seen Stab? At a sleepover when I was like 12. Well, your mother loves that movie. She talks about it all the time in group. I was like really overlit and everyone had weird hair. Do you remember the beginning? Oh, come on. She answers a wrong number and starts talking. Would you like to play a game, Tara? Boom. Look at that. Be interesting to see how they adapt to 2022 technology. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, you still have glass and windows and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and I mean, the, the lock, you know, you yeah. can still break in. What the hell? It's <gasps> not Amber. Oh no, they got Amber. Yep. I told you this isn't Amber. Amber's looking particularly fetching tonight. What do you want? I want to play a game. You call the cops, she dies. You get a question wrong, she dies. Woodsboro native was introduced as the franchise's main character. It's Sydney Prescott and she lived on L. Correct. Okay. Question one. (laughs) (laughs) Who wrote the original book that the Stab movies are based on? Gail Weathers! It is Gail Weathers, you motherfucker! Shouldn't she be Googling these? Who played the dumb bitch at the beginning of Stab 1 who answers the phone? Time's running out. There we go. Tick, David Schwimmer is doing it. Telegram. Okay, she's Googling it. Thank you. He's going to know. Who was the killer in Stab 1? <laughs> it's Billy Loomis, and he was Sidney's boyfriend, and he was played uh, by Luke Wilson. <laughs> Luke Wilson. Right. You forgot but there was one yep. Oh, I'm sorry. Someone's got to die now. Oh! Oh! Oh, Jesus. Oh, she connected. Oh, oh, that's bad. Okay, so police are calling. I mean, that door looks pretty heavy duty. I don't think he's getting in there, but them glass windows made me. Right through the pane and open the. All systems disarmed. I don't like that she's backing up like that. Hello? Bonus question. Tara, do you think I made it inside your house? <laughs> oh! 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 Oh!
she got him. Ah, oh, she's pretty messed up. I don't think she's pulling this off. Oh! Oh! Wow, what a they tense opener. Did not disappoint with the opener. Excuse me, miss. What'd you just take? Your boner pills. You, um... Hey! hey! Jack Quaid! Is that Huey? <laughs> just... Yeah, well... It's Huey! <laughs> Huey! We're just starting the boys' journey, if you guys are wondering. What's going on? Tara was attacked. She's alive, but... She made it? She said it was someone in a fucking ghost face mask. I I'm going with you. No, no, Richie. No, 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 Sam. She's coming? Yeah. With everything going on right now, I think it's time we take our relationship to the next level. Don't do it, Liv. There's a psycho out there. You make yourself harder to find. I'm sure she's asking everybody. I mean, Ghostface is back. Wait, is she from the... She's from four. Last one? Yep. Yeah, yeah. She was the one that made the lemon bars. Yeah. Uh. Mm, I mean, she could still die. What the fuck? Pepper spray? Check. Phaser? Check. Girlfriend repellent? Check. Is that Vince? Creep you hooked up with last summer? Probably time to introduce him to Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> Tara said she fought back hard. You've got bruises. Tara's awake. She just texted. Classic scream misdirect. Yep. Or not. Or, yeah, maybe it'll be obvious. You wouldn't have finger bruises. Oh, boy, I don't know. No. They're going to they're gonna get. Well, them. unless he's a running back trying to get tackled. Most of the stab movies are based on things that happened here. Some idiot gets the bright idea to put on the mask. We came here voluntarily. Well, I gotta make sure Tara's okay. Elm Street. Oh, that's where nightmares happen. Wait. Okay. How are you feeling? They showed the empty bed and back. Oh, Eugene. Thank you for calling. Of course. Oh, so that's Wes. Mm -hmm. These are Chad and Mindy, the twins, and Wes. And Amber. Hey. Hi. Where's mom? She's stuck at a conference in London. She called me earlier. Yeah, for all of 10 minutes. She gets attacked and the mom only talks to her for 10 minutes. Oh, uh, you'd think regardless of what kind of conference you had, you'd fly mm. immediately. Yeah. I could sleep here tonight. I really like that. Okay. Do you have your extra inhaler? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. I feel like I that's don't like gonna... her already. I get, get a, a vibe. creepy vibe from Amber. Yeah. Sam? Oh, Sam is so cool. Her dad left her mom, right? Walks right out when Tara's eight. Sam's 13. Maybe Sam's changed. I just don't want to see Tara hurt again. We all know you have a crush on Tara. Okay, come on, Mindy. You want a real drink? Or are you happy sitting at this kid's table? Don't you fucking Do something. Don't shut fucking you hear your goddamn voice. Better shut the fuck up. So, if you saw the new Friday the 13th, for, or not Friday, oh. sorry, uh, Freddy Krueger movie, I'm on Elm Street. He actually survived that movie. Uh, in the end, him and uh, spoiler, Rooney Mara. Spoiler much? No, no. That he. Well, <laughs> I don't think you would have any interest in seeing that movie. It was terrible. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm getting Christine vibes here. No, Get out of my <laughs> <car>. <laughs> the clap <laughs> at it. Got out of there. Got out so he could come up from behind and... Yeah. Here it comes. Oh! Oh, right in the neck. That was quick. Oh, oh what a mess. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, he's just leaking on the street. I mean, this is weird because you really... The first one, you're like... You don't feel... I don't want the guy to get 86, but he wasn't... A, not it exactly wasn't, wasn't a nice a good guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you watching? Stabs on Netflix. <laughs> I want to be prepared. You should be watching the boys. <laughs> Everybody's watching Netflix, not Amazon. That's true. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> they did some digital uh, de-aging on our boy Skeet. Yeah. Antipsychotics aren't working as well as they used to, are they? When are you gonna tell her why all this is happening? No offense, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't that hard to get Skeet Ulrich. <laughs> right, but he's, they've he's, obviously he made him look him. younger. Yeah. They de-aged him digitally. Hello, well, they had to. Oh. You're the f who hurt my sister? Oh, she's not the only one I'm gonna hurt. I'm right here. 
Come and get me. With pleasure. Oh. Jesus. Wow, he was right there. Oof. <laughs> the guy always <laughs> in every movie he does. takes a few a few diggers. Man, start throwing them chairs. This seems a little risky, like to do it in a hospital. Yeah, really. Like there's gotta be cameras everywhere, right? Yeah. What's going on? You're okay. You tried to kill me in the break room. I've got a body outside a bar on Main, and then you get attacked here. We know he cloned my phone before when he attacked Tara. Or you're the killer. And where were you when all this happened? I was watching Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I came as soon as I heard. The Netflix alibi is good, too. Both of you stop it. Deputy Vincent knows what he's doing. You'll be safe. Like we've been so far? Samantha, let's step outside. It's Sheriff Hicks. I remember you, too. Your presence here is not helping. You and your boyfriend can hit the road and leave it to people oh, who actually oh, care about this. Wow. So family, uh, I'm so thrown off by the family secret. Is she somehow related to Sydney? She must be. Did we miss something from the last movie? I don't know. I don't know if you guys missed something. Yeah, don't, don't be yeah, asking. Well, I mean, I thought it? if it was something obvious, we should know. Come on, like Netflix. If, like if she was go. introduced or whatever, I thought we should know, but apparently not. Do you remember when Dad left? It was eight. I don't know what that has to do with anything. It has to do with it. These old diaries that she kept from high school. Sam, what is Please. this? Please. So I found these old diaries. She was in love with this other guy and he got her pregnant and i didn't even realize that dad was standing right behind me oh oh no i'm the reason he left oh Mom Sammy. never forgave me i just couldn't be around you anymore tara those diaries told me who my real father was billy loomis gotta be right it was billy loomis <laughs> tara you're gone for five years. And you want to come back and you want to drop all this shit on me? No, please, Tara. Sam, I need you to get the f out. What a Ooh, bomb shit. What a holy shit. Well, your grandma got <laughs> Yeah, too. <laughs> then in that case, your yeah. real grandma. Yep. Wow. But then who's the mom? <laughs> hey. Are you listening at the door? No, no, of course not. Okay, yeah, I was I was listening at the door. I just gotta stay and figure it out. I'm not leaving you here, Sam. You should get the f out. But I'm staying. There you go, Richie. I love you. God, no, Richie's gonna go, go Huey. He's, like, oh, he's, he's not gonna make it. <laughs> he's gonna be cashing in on the old life insurance policy. Yeah, he's probably next. The police aren't gonna help. We go talk to an expert. Dewey or Gail? Gail's, Gail's not living in a trailer. Well, Dewey's moving pretty good considering uh, all that scar tissue. The old WCW champion right there. Good morning. I'm Gail Weathers. Oh, oh no. She's in Rockefeller <laughs> Plaza. He's in a he's in a trailer. With a cat poster on the wall. We just want to ask you a few questions. Give me one good reason why I should talk to you. I'm Billy Loomis's daughter. That's a terrible reason for me to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, David Arquette looks like a baller older, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, he aged well. <laughs> Five minutes. That's all I'm asking. I'll give you two minutes. This guy got, like, exponentially more <laughs> handsome as he got, like, 20 years older. <laughs> Who's he? Uh, this is Richie, my boyfriend. Six months? Ooh. Did you know who your dad was when you met? Your killer's obsessed with the stab movies, right? There's certain rules to surviving a stab movie. Never trust the love interest. Killer's motive is always connected to something in the past. And rule number three, and this is the most important, first victim always has a friend group that the killer is a part of. If you can find out why they're doing this, you can figure out who's next. So help us. Are you kidding me? I've been stabbed nine times. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> You just said it always goes back to the past. If I'm in danger, that means you're in danger. It's a hard sell for Dewey. Your time's up. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he going to call her? Is he going to call Gail or Sydney? Hello. All right. Hey, it's me. Dewey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to get a run in before I take the girls to school. How are you? They're fine. But Sid. Have you talked to Gail lately? Not in a couple years. I know things didn't end well with you guys, but... It's happening again. No matter what you hear or what you see on the news, don't come here. Whoever this killer's after, I'm glad they have you to protect them. He's not going to mention that 
the relation the relationship the girl attacked was yeah. Billy Loomis's daughter's sister. Oh, he's just gonna yeah. shoot her a text yeah. to see how that goes. Uh, uh, maybe just leave that one alone. Oh, that's probably a real life picture too from them two being together yeah. in real life. Oh, it's like it's like John Wick opening up his stuff again. <laughs> oh yeah, so close. That's exactly. So like close. That. A revolver with two speed loaders. <laughs> And a badge in 2022 <laughs> a revolver i mean the reliability's unmatched <laughs> look just because that guy showered doesn't mean he should have a gun <laughs> randy randy was our uncle r.i.p oh it's a suspects <laughs> oh she's oh, uh, back yeah hey martha Joey, you look <laughs> yeah. How's the wife? Okay, mom, we're good. <laughs> oh, that's their mom. Yeah. Yeah. See, everybody's. Uh... Well, yeah, it's Randy's sister. Yeah. Remember, and yeah. he was their uncle. Randy's their uncle. Yeah. Oh. So that's of course their mom. That's how family trees work. Yeah. So let me get there this. He is. Oh. You're saying that you're the daughter of Billy Loomis. And the killer told me he knew my secret. Why does it have to be one of us? And what about Deputy Dewey here? Maybe he's the killer. What's my motive? You got stabbed a billion times. Well, maybe you're the killer. Because that cut deep. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. He's making a requel. A what? Real stab movies are meta slasher whodunits. Our killer is writing his own version of Stab 8. You can't just reboot a franchise from scratch anymore. The fans won't stand for it. You're the star. Who's next? Whoever it is has to be connected to someone that came before. I think it's pretty clear who the killer is at this point. You? <laughs> it makes perfect requel sense. Sam, wait. The first fucking rule of these movies is don't split up. <laughs> <laughs> well, she could have had somebody fake an attack, so there was some sort of security oh. footage. I'm really not in the mood right now. He's threatening you. He's threatening your sister. I'm not like you. Cut some fucking... No! Oh, Jesus. Oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's what got you the jump scare? The, the Prius? <laughs> I'll be there in 10 minutes. The police officers never fare well in these movies. Mm -hmm. Well, Anthony Anderson and uh, no. Brody weren't uh, pretty good in the last one. Got you, Tiger? Uh. <laughs> What's for dinner? Sushi. I was just leaving to pick it up. Can you put this away for me? Yes. Mm. I don't like the way she was holding that either. No. I know some folks in the comments of some of the other movies said that if you notice the way Ghostface holds the knife, sometimes it's a clue, but... Oh, not looking good for Wes. Yeah, shower scenes never end good. Nope. Sheriff Hicks. Hello, Sheriff oh. Chuty. I'm a fan of scary movies. I'm going to turn myself in. I think that's a great idea. And I'll tell you all about the two people I've killed. I'll have gutted your baby boy. <laughs> pick up, pick up, Wes. This is Sheriff Hicks. I need units to converge on my house ASAP. Can't get him on the phone, can you? Ever seen the movie Psycho? Oh, <laughs> oh that's, that's, the, shot. that's the shot. Jesus, how long of a shower does he need to take? Yeah. I, I mean, take very long showers. Three, three four minutes, that's you're done. Yeah. Wasting water, wasting <laughs> time. <laughs> Please, I'll do anything. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! oh! Ran right into it. Right in broad daylight. She wouldn't oh. have gone into the house armed, though. Oh! Right Jesus. in the day? Oh, oh boy. Uh, here it comes. Oh. <laughs> Just leave me alone. <laughs> Ducking and dodging. 
Oh, behind the door. <laughs> they keep teasing us. <laughs> it's like all the classic horror ones are trying to get us with here. This is great. Lemon squares. Mom? Didn't they, she call all the units to her yeah, house? Yeah, they should be mm -hmm. there by now. I mean, those fire trucks were there in like, what, two minutes? Oh. 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 Oh, oh man. Oh, 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 come on. No, she can't be here. What? She can't be here. Her son, Wes, is he? Sorry. Oh, Wes was, of course, named after Wes Craven. <laughs> they did this in homage to him. Oh, that's right, yeah. Because he passed he away passed. before this was yeah. oh. this movie came out. Okay. So that's, say, well, obviously, that's why they had a character named yeah. Wes. But, okay, I didn't know that. Oh, oh there she hey. is. Oh, my God. I mean, a bit of a moment. Did, did you know the sheriff? She didn't like me very much. <laughs> she didn't really like me either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gail... Courtney Cox looks great here too, doesn't she? Oh, do it! Riley. She's gonna fall in love all over again. Oh, did you did you hear her yeah. say Riley? Because yeah. it was Dewey Riley. Yeah. A text. Ow. <laughs> that hurts. Good. <laughs> you still writing? No time. Couldn't resist a good story, could you? I'm here because I was worried about you. My producers wanted me to cover this for obvious reasons, but 90% is because of you. <laughs> 90%. 90%. She said 90. <laughs> Let's not pretend I'm the one who ended things. Whoa. No whoa. one's pretending, Gail. Why aren't you in uniform? Retired. Since when? Since they asked me to. The mornings aren't so bad because I get to see you. Then I remember I left in the middle of the night. Promise so me you leave as soon as you can. I'm sorry about Judy. But you'll make a great chapter in your next book. Jesus, do we? Ghost Space signature new weapon. That s is lit. Just call it Stab 8. It's fing Stab 8. They call this one Scream, Scream just yeah. like the original. Who's watching my sister? Just heard about the sheriff. Better go with her, Dewey. What are you waiting for? Yeah, we should check the door. Joey and Pacey, check the front door. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Did you see, though, for a split second, they showed Scott Foley, who was in the Scream 3, obviously, as the killer. <laughs> Hello? Please. All right. Get out of there. Wouldn't that send the thing? Yeah, off? usually, yeah, when that stops, they'd send in a nurse, but I'm sure the hospital's empty again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah. Okay, it's really hard to cut the power to a hospital. I'm just saying. <laughs> We've got backup and all the, yeah. backups upon backups. Uh, I mean, but that's, it's a movie I'll have that's, fun with. That's, that's that's what I thought at the plant today too, and that didn't happen. <laughs> Damn it! Should you really be making a phone call right now? Nobody at the front desk. Yeah, nobody's yeah. here. Oh. How did it just get dark? <laughs> it's a long drive. They were literally just driving and it was light outside. It's the middle of the day. <laughs> oh, and he took his piece. <laughs> Ow! Oh! God damn it! Sam called. She said that you were in trouble. Oh! 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 oh. oh. Right on the arm, just like, uh, uh. yeah. Seen that move before. Jerry O'Connell, but yeah. Jerry ended up. Yeah. Oh, the oh, voice massacre. Yeah. Richie can't come to the phone right now. I'll only kill one. What? What? Who do you want to hear die? No. All you have to do is say, kill Richie. No. no. Oh. oh, ow. Last chance to save one. Choose. Maybe you're too weak for this franchise. Maybe I'm just stalling for time, kid. Dewey had that, that one good shot from the top of the hill in uh, the earlier movies. Get the... Oh. Uh, oh. 
Come on, Dewey. There's no way we lose Dewey. Uh, what's Richie doing? Yeah, why what did the you stand there? What's Richie doing? You're gonna ki kick him in the head, give him a soccer kick. Bulletproof vest again? Well, either way. Oh, get out of here. The old bulletproof what? vest. Why'd you see who it is? Put, put a couple more in them. What if they shot you in the Come face, on, Harry? The head. What? You have to shoot him in the head. Oh. Is he out? How many did he fire? He's got oh, six he's, shots. He's going to reload the speed loader. Okay. He's got a speed loader ready. Yep. Okay, so they're not like... they're not setting us up to be like, oh, he's empty. <laughs> oh, oh, come on! Oh, yes. Oh, 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 come on! Yeah, we're losing Dewey today, aren't we? It's an honor. Oh, yeah, Dewey. I got a feeling that Dewey uh, didn't make it through that one. No. Oh, wow. We really lost Dewey. Now, remember, there was two officers in there. Yep. I see one body bag coming out. I don't know. He carved yeah, him up all the way up I the back. Know. I know. He talked in an interview. Oh, he was finally... Or he was... Finally done with it. Mm. I'm sorry. That's what he did. He helped people. Samantha, your sister's away. Gail. Sydney. Oh, oh look who's back. back. Oh, you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here either. Mark and the kids are okay. Yeah, they're safe for now. I have a feeling. Every time I get attacked, they give me better painkillers. You didn't choose where you came from. Or who you came from. I blame you for leaving me, too. I was scared that I would turn out just like him. Yo, we're over an hour in, and I got no clue who it could be. How about you, Oak? How are you feeling? Any guesses? I'm thinking it's almost got to be somebody from a, a different movie or something. We're going to get the f*** out of Woodsboro. Well, Richie was there and got cut. It could be two people if they're made yeah, they would, equal. They would have to be two people, so who's the other one? I don't know. Richie seems suspect. Maybe it's Richie Sam. and the other girl. I'm, I know who you are. I've been through this a lot. I'm really sorry about Dewey, but I'm taking my sister away from all this. It doesn't work. It always follows. All due respect, that's your life, not mine. What do you want from me, lady? Watch your tone, new girl. So I want you to help us kill him. Help you and the host of a morning show commit murder. <laughs> Oh, when you put him like that. <laughs> yeah, <no kidding. laughs> I won't sleep until he's in the ground. This isn't my story. Let's get the f*** out of town, huh? <laughs> That's the only way I can protect Tara. Wait, the hospital wouldn't just discharge her. She just walked yeah. out of the hospital like that? Well, there's nobody there, apparently. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much a sketchy. They're probably like, well, we'll have less murders on the floor. <laughs> You said it yourself. He's going to go after her. I put a tracker on her car. I left a message for mom. I told her where we're going. Where's what? On my inhaler, I usually keep an extra one. Oh boy, they're gonna have to go back. Okay, I vote for not going back to the murder hospital. I left an extra one in Amber's. Her house is on the way. Okay, yeah. Fuck. Okay, what's the goddamn address? High school party. Hey, thanks for coming. I've got no proof, but I think it's Richie and her. They're having a party for Wes? Really? Shots? Really? This is supposed to be a memorial. We're low on beer. There's more in the basement. I'll go get some. I'm going to go to the basement uh, at the house party. Well, and the light doesn't work. Okay, so much for that theory. She's going to go anyhow. Yep, it might as well just the be The light on garage. her phone. Pour some beers into some... <laughs> Tide? Dishwashing <laughs> yeah. tubs. Oh! You never go off on your own when there's a masked killer around. How do you know I'm not the killer? Because I am. I'm not actually, but let that be a lesson. I feel like they're both about to get like double 80. So. Yeah. You first. She's only grabbing two cans. Very good. Yeah. What's up with that? Wouldn't you grab like a couple of sixes? <laughs> All right. Way to memorialize your uh, friend being Jesus. Oh, we know Wanna what that upstairs? means. Like, like upstairs? I think I have to pass on that. You know, I, I'm, I'm not like entirely sure that you're not 
Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? The safest option is to be down here. Potential witnesses. Wow. <laughs> Potential <laughs> witnesses. <laughs> ah, he did the Vince McMahon flip off. I started all of this. No, you didn't. After tonight, no more books, no more movies. Don't you know the rules? What rules? Would a they really be watching this? Successfully survive a horror movie. Oh, this is exactly like the setup was in the first one. That's my girlfriend, and I love her. God, at least take some sort of weapon. Here you go. Yeah, that's great. The candlestick. Yeah. It's a clue. A clue. Yeah. Yeah. In the library with the candlestick. <laughs> <laughs> oh great she's just upset uh, yeah now she knows where he's at 100 percent of the time it's okay he's got a candlestick live are there apps that beep like this <laughs> as you get closer <laughs> oh yeah. oh oh, oh. Yeah, one shot in. Oh, it's not working. Oh, that's not good. He's got like m seconds here. Oh, oh, uh. oh Jesus. Oh, perfect. He's having a party. I'll go in quickly and get it. I'll be back in five. I think I'm waiting out here just to get murdered if you're out of your mind. <laughs> okay, so well, he's in the car. Yep. But we know it takes two. two. Yep. Oh, what are you doing out of the hospital? Should you even be up and around? It's fine. Don't tell me. I get it. Just be safe, okay? Thanks for coming, but the party's over. Uh, hi. Gen Z, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> if I were you... I would probably leave. Oh, you. Sincerely, get the f out. Thank you. Great, thank you for leaving the cup. Thank you. Right <laughs> down the road. Saving your life. Never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, say, I'll be right back. Yeah, so what's funny is they made sure they got nobody for the stab. For, for stab for Randy, because remember, he said he had nobody to play him. Yeah. Yes, Richie, there's beer in the basement. Come with me? <laughs> No. I'll be right back. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's dead. <laughs> God damn, fucking Uber canceled on me. Liv, where's my brother? I don't know, Mindy. Probably off accusing everyone of being the killer. You afraid of me, Mindy? You think I did something to your brother? Enjoy your stupid movie. They stopped. Gas station? How far are we? Too far. Hello. You need to get out of that house right now. Someone planned to get you there. You need to get the out Sam uh, oh. watch out Jamie <laughs> you know he's around I told you uh. he's around the corner Jamie oh shit oh why did he run from her what did you do to her God, no, I, I didn't do anything. I just went to the basement to get some beer. You went to the basement alone? I found Chad. I found Chad. He's found Chad. I'm not killer. I know. Oh! No. What? Jesus Christ! Oh! No! 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 My God, Tara! Wait, wait, no, no, Sam. She is a gun. He's the second one. Yep. <laughs> It's got to be those two. I guess maybe, maybe I was right. I think the other killer might be Tara. What? And you two have been estranged for years. She can barely walk. But we thought it was Jerry O'Connell for a minute too, though. Oh, so much speculation. There was too many people around for her to just pull the gun out suddenly. Oh, well, she's got two. What a smart move. He's me. What do you think? Trap. Oh. Uh, you gotta go to the I hospital. That's an oblique shot. Oblique shot. <laughs> go finish it, Sydney. <laughs> Gail. For Dewey. I just love that right away they knew it was a trap. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> trap. What do you think? That's nah, trap. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's the house. I don't I'm so lost on what the motive would be for that girl and who the other killer was. Mm -hmm. Killer or not, you have five seconds to show yourself. 
Jesus, she's popping off <laughs> frowns through doors? Well, she gave him a warning. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. There's no way it can be her. Is she going to do it with that club she's got on her foot? Hello, Sydney. Oh, here we go. Oh, this isn't Amber. I'm the other one. You really need some new material. You forgot the first rule of surviving a stab movie. Hiding from murderers? I told you to come out. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, that's a bad one. Run down and do something. Oh, he caught a bullet. Yeah. Get the gun. Yeah. yeah. So he's. Ghostface said that that one's not Amber. Yes. Yes. Jim. Oh, she here. wants to pull the mask off. Oh, go. Told you it was him. Really wanted to be the one to kill you. But that was Did my guess. Was those Prescott. two. Oh, I knew something was up with him. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, Huey. He twisted it. What would Dennis and Meg Ryan think of this? Oh, Jack, Jack, Jack. It's a bummer, it's me. It was reveal check. Time for the big finale. Hey, hey! Whoa. You see the last stab movie? Not really a fan of scary movies. They just laugh at us. And why? Because we love something. <laughs> oh, I thought she was going to be the one to come back. Yeah, that's what I thought, Damn too. It. Maybe that was too obvious. She gets an oblique shot. She yeah. comes in. She saves the day. Sweetie, you're not the hero. Sydney Prescott killed your father. You did all this. How did you know? Oh, about your father? I mean, it's a small town and your mom's a drunk. See, we had to bring the legacy characters back to make it matter. Dewey had to die to make it real. To show that this wasn't just some bullshit. Oh! Oh! Oh, Jesus. Fans are gonna be the ones who win. <sighs> we gotta go start staging the bodies! Really should have listened to Dewey. Look at the love interest. Are you fucking stupid? I guess you're not as persuasive as you thought. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I like this. I can't find him. Oh, oh, right in the face. Amber. Oh, oh, bite. That'll work. <laughs> Kill you. Oh, oh, got her. No, 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 it's not my fault. It's not my fault. I was the message board. I was radicalized. <laughs> you killed my best friend. Died like a pussy. Oh. oh. Time to pass the torch. It's all yours, bitch. No, oh, nice headbutt. Fuck you. Oh, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> what a fucking, satisfying uh, fucking hand sanitizer. Well, there you go. Yeah, that'll do it. Enjoy that torch. Oh, oh, ah. that would suck for both of them. What are you going to do now, huh? Pop out of that closet in the ghost face mask? Because you're the villain. I'm introducing a new rule. What would that be? Huh? Never fuck with the daughter of a serial killer. Oh! Oh! oh right through the mouth! Oh! Oh! oh. oh wow! Oh. oh! Oh! What about my ending? Here it comes. Oh! 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 She seemed to be a little too good at that. Oh, oh! Just like her dad! Everybody got <laughs> oblique shots. <laughs> like everybody. All three of them. <laughs> Careful, I always come back. Oh, Jesus! Oh, that will oh, do it. Yeah. yeah, that'll do it. What about the other one? Oh, she's all half burned. I still prefer the Papadou. What a finish. Oh. What's our sign? Excuse me. 
She made it? Huh. That's justice for Jamie right there. <gasps> brother made it. Yeah, he did. Oh, the brother made it? Boy, he was in rough shape. You ready to go? I'll be right back. God, there's another one after this. <laughs> I can't handle anymore. I know. Oh. Sydney, Gail, thank you both. At least I know what I'm going to write about. What's that? Not this. Maybe something about a good man who used to be the sheriff here once. Am I going to be okay? Eventually. I don't know. The way she was throwing that knife around at the end, she looked pretty good at it. Is that a setup for the next one? I'm Is that I'm how we roll into that. six? Answer, you haven't seen six, have you? Nope. Huh. All oh. I know is those two are in it. Huh. In this very house, a tragic story ended. Cars just all drive up on the lawn? <laughs> no, no respect. Say hey, the man. All right, for Wes. Ah, you're the man. So you guys pretty much had it right from the start. Yeah, I mean, pretty, there was kinda. a limited, I don't want to say there was but, a limited cast, but they started 86 in people pretty quick, and it kind of got to the point where wasn't Jack a lot Quaid. of people left. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he even had the old hair. <laughs> you apologize for calling him Dime Store Johnny Depp. He came through in this. <laughs> Way to go, Skeet. Roger L. Jackson, same guy doing the voice the oh, whole time. nice. <laughs> what a scene for Courtney Cox to use in her credits. Uh, champ, he'll be missed. My second least favorite part of the franchise so far. And of course, you got to have Nev. No. She's not in six. What? I feel like I wasn't ready to have that bomb dropped on me. Sorry. <laughs> Just going to come in cold and nuke me like that huh <laughs> yeah boom that was 2022 scream and what a just a great mix of nostalgia and old characters i mean they pretty much said it through the whole movie what you have to do to create a a prequel or prequel. a requel well, yeah they had all kinds of uh of words for it so it was a lot of fun and man i can see get the timer here going folks i can see why a lot of people love this and they felt like it was a reintroduction to the franchise of course we got a lot of new characters they of course have them be sons and daughters and nieces and nephews of the original cast which was really cool to tie it in and of course we're right back in the same house from the first one, but with a, a pretty, you know, different story. Matthew Lillard was in this one? Yeah, he was the uh, flamethrower ghost face. Oh, so he was in the stab in eight. <laughs> so of course he's got to sneak in yeah. there just like in uh, Scream 2. Yeah, but you know, like I was telling uh, Answer here a little bit before uh, the credits were still going, you know, they did have a little bit tighter cast on this one and they were i felt like they were 86 in people so quick it was like okay well now you're down to like three people who it could be but then again we were nearing the end of the movie there uh the last 10 minutes of this was absolutely awesome the the fight scene and um the way all the actors played their roles was incredible mm -hmm. uh, a lot of oblique shots going around there <laughs> towards the end to make sure everybody was okay but you know we we lost dewey uh the champ <sighs> david arquette himself but you know, overall, just a blast. It was such a surprise seeing Skeet Ulrich back right away, and you know, in, in the role that he oh, played Skeet, in Skeet. it. Now, boy, I am not sure about the way that uh, uh, she was kind of wielding the knife there at mm. the end. She looked like a real pro at that, and they made a point to have her doing it over and over and over, and then the, the slice at the end. So. I don't know what's gonna happen in uh, in the next one here, but I got a feeling it's we're gonna be up for a twist. Now, is this the start of a whole new trilogy? Is there one more coming? Who knows? But either way, this one was a ton of fun. I can't wait to dive into the next one. They just, man, they really nailed it on this one. I feel for all the other uh, Scream movies that they had, I know a lot of you guys in the comments said, a lot of the scripts had to be changed because they were getting leaked out. There was events that were taking place in the world that they changed a few other uh, stories in the movie. So I think this one that they really had a chance to to tell the story that they wanted to tell without outside forces influencing 
uh, what we were going to get for a film. So uh, thanks to everybody in the comments for educating all of us on like the mythology of the world of Scream. It was really kind of neat to dive into a lot of that, but I love this one and it was it was a ton of fun. Uh, yeah, it was great getting back into the Scream universe when I originally saw it because, you know, I didn't know where where they were going to go with this. How were they going to do it? You know. How are they going to reintroduce, you know, Ghostface and everything that, you know, made the Scream movies what they were. So it was great that they had to find a whole new legacy that they made up or whatever the terminology of requel, because I had never heard of it until no. here. And they're right with the whole having a new legacy, but bringing back originals. I mean, we watched Ghostbusters legacy on this channel. Yep. And so it was it was great. I you know I gave it a five, loved the movie. So it was a lot of fun watching this and the reimagination of it. So I'm excited to see six, but we're still talking about five. So right away, I love it that they, in an homage to the original, David Arquette said who the killer was right away, yep. just like they did in the original Scream. Yep. And then we also saw like that we knew it was two people because they kept saying, I'm not that one. It's the other one. My one gripe with it, though, is how... <sighs> We, how was Amber beating the crap out of Dewey in the hospital? Because it was Amber as Ghostface, yep. not not Jack Quaid or Richie in that aspect. Because yeah. Richie was the one that could have helped out but didn't. You know what I wonder, and maybe some of you guys in the comments can help out with this, but is it like a Michael Myers thing when they put the ghost face mask on? Maybe there's some level. I mean, I'm not saying that there is, like they get magical powers from it, but maybe it's just like a thing with the You're thinking this is the mask with Jim where, Carrey from 94? No, like, when they put the costume on, they become ghost well, and, face, and, and maybe it's a little bit different. Let's just be honest here for a second. Dewey isn't necessarily in top no. physical shape. Yeah, he made that and, clear. Okay, so then finally this 110 pound girl with two <laughs> knives lifted him up off the ground to quote Did unquote he gun him. come off the ground? If you watch the scene, yes. He gets higher than what he was. Well, maybe well, that wasn't going to happen. Like I said, so that's my fun. that's my one gripe is maybe that you know you know Mickey Madison as Amber that. Freeman. I'm sure yeah. she weighs all of like 120. <laughs> is lifting up a 210 pound, yeah. you know, former world champion, former world heavyweight champion in WCW. Day <laughs> cut off the ground. <laughs> that's my one gripe. Everything yeah. else, so I loved it. Like we knew that the cops were going to get it. It was sad to see you know Judy Hicks take it, but I love the little homage that lemon bars are in the fridge. It was great that they had West. Um, as you saw, previous Scream actors were in it, like Matthew Lillard. Drew Barrymore was the voice of the principal that was telling all the kids oh, to go. To the, and then Henry Winkler, Jamie Kennedy, they were voices in the party saying to Wes because it was also an homage to Wes Craven, who had previously oh. passed away. So it, what a great send off. And they kept it to the Scream, you know rules so to speak so i i had a fun time watching this yeah movie. that was nice yeah this was uh, this was a good movie this was a lot of fun um i i definitely suspected i'm not sure if it'll make the cut i mentioned it a few times i definitely suspected uh the boyfriend i mean i think he kind of came across as as questionable he wasn't helping out in situations where it seemed like he should have been yeah. helping out like the situation in the hospital it's like get um get the two sisters in the elevator and help dewey yeah and he didn't and that seemed awkward some even of his, when they were both laying there yeah yeah some of his timing kind of seemed awkward he took the slice to the arm mm -hmm. which is kind of like yeah okay kind of some misdirection yeah. but um you know the the other the other girl i would not have guessed it was her no they so. didn't really give her a lot of screen time i don't think they had that little bit in the beginning where they were all sitting around mm -hmm. like in the original movie yeah, but she didn't get she a whole didn't lot she didn't like the uh you know she didn't like the the you know the sister very much although she you know kind of said that she didn't like her cuz she abandoned her um it was interesting that they kept with um they kept with the plot of wanting to you know make the movie type thing i don't yeah. know why i did that mm -hmm. but so well, you you know, the first one obviously had its own plot uh the second one you had the film student come back who wanted to make the movie you had the third one mm -hmm. who had the director you had the fourth one who she wanted to be the new sydney prescott she wanted all the attention to be on her so you know i was wondering what direction they were going to go with the plot so they used the internet obviously with a subreddit huge thing um well it wasn't to, reddit though they called it uh 
something else. Yeah, something. Yeah, something. Oh, Sorry. They called it a subreddit. Oh, th she did say subreddit. There she was did say, yeah, they, they, they used Reddit. Yeah, yeah. So she said it was a subreddit. Um, so they used Reddit as a place where they could meet up and discuss. A little bit interesting, the like, hey, uh, you know, we need to have the proper ending, but... You know, they, they showed part eight, which, as the answer said, uh, yeah, uh, the, had, the uh, fire, the appearance. fire. Um, yeah. <laughs> so Matthew Lillard has had, you know, guest Matthew parts. Matthew Lillard has had yeah. guest parts in a handful and of two, them. And now this one. So sure. interesting that, you know, they would go through and, and uh, you know, and, and kind of 86 all these people just because they wanted to set up a proper ending mm -hmm. for the stab thing. Yeah. But we've seen people do crazy things uh so that was interesting yep. um i liked seeing all the, the 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 throwbacks as far as the characters we had gail back we had dewey although man yes yeah that's that, but you know and and look in, one i didn't in, want in defense of the the movie um you know i think it would have been fun if dewey had come out at the end and we were like hey <laughs> do we make it yeah. but you know they they did they, they made know, a point of that in the film that they, they made it new like this is anybody something new go. Dewey went. We saw Sydney get stabbed. Although, like everybody, got the oblique shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you get an oblique shot. You get an oblique <laughs> shot. You get an oblique shot. Um, Randy's uh, niece and nephew survived, so yep. that was that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, but all in all, I think this was I think this was a, a fun one. Um, I I, I got to be honest, guys. I don't know if I liked it quite as much as parts one through four and i don't know if yeah. it's just because we kind of i feel like there it's hard to come up with new plots and they they did the like okay the way they ended it wasn't that good but we already saw in part two like you know we need to make a new yeah the, you know, the, 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 the movie. fandom yeah kind of yeah. like the guy who wanted to make his own movie type thing now granted he was planning on getting caught though yeah and going answer do you do you feel at all like this like it felt maybe a little repetitive from some of well because like ones? they wanted to do is remember they have been doing the movie within a movie so this stab franchise you know that's where you get gail to be kind of the heel at first and then become the good guy because she's gonna write a book about it and it's gonna become a movie have tori spelling you know <laughs> playing sydney prescott and everything so yeah the movie within a movie so then what i loved is by then not, by this one they're going well stab eight well it's just horrible as you saw ghost face is silver yeah. flamethrower not even you know back to the source material so they want to reimagine it if, if you will and you need the legacy so they they stuck by using their rules and i don't think it's repetitive because it's the only movie like this if there was 20 other movies you know like but you guys can watch Friday the 13th and Halloween and they're basically the same. It's the same no, no, killer no, that just has magical powers mean, and can always come back. I don't mean other Freddy movies Kruger. like this. No. I mean, do you think the that's why I, was... That's why I like that Scream can do it. Do they can think... get away with it. Okay, I was going to say... That's why I'm saying you... I don't think the plot is repetitive or too the boring. First ones? Okay. No, because it's their own genre, so to speak. It's their own thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's a question of being repetitive as it was... I don't want to say I didn't buy the villains mm -hmm. because I definitely bought uh, uh, Randy, or I'm sorry, Randy. <laughs> um, Richie. 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 Jeez, get it together. Richie. I definitely you bought You could have just Richie. said Jack Quaid. Yeah, I, I forgot his first name was Jack. You, know, <laughs> you guys know me in names. Anyways. That is true. I, I totally bought Randy. Richie. Oh my God, Richie. As the villain. It's right He's here. Falling off the rails here. I totally <laughs> believed him, but... Um, uh, Mickey, who played Amber, I, I just didn't buy her. Like, she kind of came out of left field, was like the super crazy fan, but we hardly saw her in the movie. She had the, the great, great scene down in the basement between... Uh, uh, her and the uh, the sister Mindy. Mindy, who I thought was, I thought that was a really good scene. I liked that, and and how in Wes's scene they kept faking us out in the kitchen. So they had a lot of great stuff. I just the the villain, they just it just felt a little bit thin to me. Where the other ones is like, oh, that makes perfect sense. I I get why they're doing it, you know. And, and this one lacked on that a little bit, but made up for it in other areas. Yeah, I mean it was interesting for me because okay, so that the second one, Billy's mom. Um, I mean, obviously had reason to want revenge. Mm -hmm. um, they 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 kind of throw a, a, a wide <laughs> cast of a broad shadow on who they're all going to take out for for you know one person. You yeah. know, I mean, mm -hmm. like in uh, you know in the third one, it was like okay, 
you know, the 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 brother that got abandoned and stuff, and he's mad, but it's like, yeah, what, what's with all the collateral <laughs> damage? <laughs> you know, the fourth one I thought was pretty interesting because you had Sydney's cousin who was like, she wanted to be in the limelight. Like, mm -hmm. she never had her own personality. So this one was interesting to me because I feel like, uh, not that other people's, you know, motives for going on a mass killing spree were justified but this one feels like you'd have to have some pretty psychotic people to be like oh this the, the movie series stab needs to have a better ending so we're gonna go on this mass killing spree and kill a bunch of people kill a bunch of police officers try to get away with it all to set up a better ending to a movie so um I just, I just, I didn't, you know, for as much as I loved the first four, and and I don't get me wrong, this was enjoyable, and I thought it was a good suspenseful movie. Like, it was interesting because they kind of, the thing that I do want to say I liked is they kind of gave you the one character, but the other one totally not. Yeah. And so I thought that was interesting because look, they didn't hide it that it could have been Richie. They gave you enough, but the other one was interesting so it was kind of almost like this ah, here's one yeah. of them but who's we're the other one the yeah. other um yep. so i thought i thought that was neat overall it was fun i just you know i just was like eh, i don't know that i liked it yeah. as much as the first four and it was interesting that because <clears throat> i thought i also thought maybe it could have been Liv, uh and you know because with uh with mindy saying that she was boring or whatever i'm like okay there's some potential there and she seemed you know pretty uh pretty out there but yeah you're right oak they they gave you the one and then they held back i mean i even thought for a moment there it could have been randy's niece you know the the girl with the curly hair that went down in the basement mindy like, mindy and when yeah, she yeah. was like i'm the killer i was like oh yeah i was like this here is we it. go because if you look at the timing of where she was and things like that so i did like that they kind of spoon fed you somebody who could be it but yeah. the other one was a mystery the whole time um I well because yeah they they did it where they had the phone on her amber at the beginning that she's the yeah. one you know that she's calling and stuff like that but no, that's where that's where you have fun with it. I mean, and like did, I said, my big like gripe is well. uh, lifting. It looked like it. Yeah, it I, I guess yeah. I didn't even pay attention to yeah. that. I was so I was so wrapped so once up. Once you in watch, my... once you watch it once, and you go back to watch that, that's when you're like, whoa, 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 yeah, hold, yeah, on, hold, like, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did, I did, it did pretty well at the box office though, didn't it? It looks like uh, uh, it, uh, it made eighty, or, or yeah, it made it wow, eighty initial. It made million, one for a movie in 2022. To make 24, it on 24 mil. 24 million mm -hmm. is a pretty low budget, that's but again, if real. you if you look at everything in this movie, look, there was nobody at this point who was a massive massive star yeah. um courtney cox hasn't really done a lot obviously she's as as in her prime was as big of a star as anybody could be with and, her work on friends and David obviously Ar a household name yeah but David Arquette at, was also kind they, of up and going down. into the budget they could have always asked for we'll get returns on the box office yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, percentages so there's, there's and a like handful that. of things there I'm sure but, skeet um, wasn't asking for much as far as special effects i mean that's the thing about stab wounds is you know they had the the one in the neck earlier on with west they had the cheek stuff a couple of the gunshot stuff the on fire but for the most part um when you do a movie like this there's really not much need for any cgi or no. any sort of special effects or any crazy like on site you know they don't have to block off eight city blocks so vin right. diesel can destroy half the city <laughs> you know well, i mean we'll see. so it did i mean to, to have a 24 million dollar budget and you yeah. know and take home 140 million that's got to be yeah, not too bad. And by the way, that that scene where she comes back with half her face burned off that that was yeah, incredible. That was, pretty, that was a that good was one. That good. was really that was good. good. So, all right, let's go ahead and get to it. <laughs> all right, guys. For me, I really enjoyed Scream from 2022. This is a 4.1 out of five answers. Uh, not as high as some of the other scream movies are rated for the reasons that i said but hey a 4.1 is still a damn good movie no like i like the concept i like the requill like making a new genre like they always do but yeah it's, it's not as good as the other ones but i still like it and it's a four mm -hmm. i was gonna go a little higher i think answered actually like <laughs> i keep thinking about like like 
did she really pick Dewey <laughs> off her feet? <laughs> And especially if you think about like that, it would be one thing if you had both hands Maybe. under somebody's armpits to go like that. No, she was like but this. To come and back and uh. out like that. That's all deltoids. That would have been a little tough. <laughs> Again, loved the first four. This was enjoyable. It was suspenseful, but for me, not as good. Still, still not a bad. Still a three eight five. Not still a bad, not a bad score. Bad. Yeah. But I tell you what. Here, here's the thing. I am going into this sixth one very excited still yep. this one now, didn't have me like oh whoa whoa no I'm, so i'm still going yeah. to the sixth one very excited and we'll be uh we'll be getting that one out the best the best part about it is it it is done the best at the box office out of any of them six okay. dead six right. dead well, 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 so look at that. Well, it should be a fun one and you have uh, but, to know what you're getting into but with these movies. unfortunately and no nev campbell sorry so for appleton oak mason quinn <laughs> i'm of course the answer good night pals hey music by brian tyler how about that